Hey everybody, it's Miel, and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of my how I 3D print from start to finish 3D printing my grow towers. So those are the grow towers. And so I'm gonna to explain to you, I have this 3D printer, this is my bamboo carbon, it's one, whatever. And then I've got you know, my different filaments in here. Usually I don't care what color it is, but it can do multicolors. Um, the way I kind of have it set is I just have it set so they're, it looks like they're all the same. And so if it runs out of one, it just picks the next and the next. That's why some of my items are uh, multicolored <laughs> that way. Um, but here I'm gonna show you guys all the different pieces that I've printed to make this go. And maybe I'll even put some time lapses in there or something like that. So, so we'll start, well, I guess we'll start at the bottom. So the first thing I print is these, and these come in, there's six sections. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So I printed, you know, two of them with holes, one for the water and one for the, um, one for the power over there. You see, I've got two of these towers. And, and then, so I, I have both of these here and then I, so I printed these, you see this one here, I printed it's kind of yellow and whatever that is gray or something like that, just cause it ran out of one color and it just started going on the next. Um, so that was the, the reason with the color. And you'll see like these ones here, you see it's kind of like green and then it switches to something else. That's just, just cause whatever color, I don't really care too much what color these things are. Um, so, and then, so I print, so I have to print these, six of these, and then I have to print six of these little pieces, the connectors, um, and then those are screwed into the base here, and then I have to print this piece here, so six of these, and then six of these little ones here to hold the, the lights. So those are all the different, you know, com components to get the lights on, and then I screw them into whatever um, there. So that's the whole top, and then this is just a planter from Ikea. And same with this one here, just a planter. This one here is a ceramic one. This one here is a plastic one. The ceramic one is, is kind of what the guy had designed the model for. So that fits on there perfectly. And um, all I had to do was silicone. I, you know, on both of these, I siliconed all these pieces together and underneath and everything like that real good. But on this one here, I don't know if I can even, if you can see it. Underneath, I have a tube. It's just a clear tube. It's just this tubing stuff that I have. It's the tubing that goes up to the uh, one. But I kind of had to line it with that um, just so it doesn't leak. And then inside here, you'll see, um, you know, these open up. So, oh, just kicked off. But let's see if I can show you inside. Hopefully you can see that. Um, in there, I have a pump. And then the pump is connected to a little, a little hose. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and then, so that's kind of how that is all on the bottom uh, section needs to, get to go up. And then I have to print, so then I print these. Um, so there's this one here, and then this one here. I think one of these, I think it's this one here, has a mesh on it. Let me see if I can see. If you can see it in there, maybe. I don't know if you can, how good you can focus. But in there, one of those has a, a little mesh screen on it, so that keeps the roots, as these things grow roots, from getting all the way down into the pump and everything like that. So it kind of just keeps it clean. And then, so this is a section, this is a section, this is a section, so you'll see um, you know, these are all, so I have seven of these sections, and then each of these hold four of these little screwing caps, and these little screwing caps, right now there's no roots coming out of it, um, because this is a little baby plant, but if I lift it, one of the other ones um, above, it'll have um, a lot more, a lot of roots coming out, and usually you want to wait until the roots are out before you put it in the tower, because it's just gonna have a hard time growing, so that's why my tomatoes are doing very poorly at the moment. So then I have those and sections, and then these are little tags. Um, so I could print. I printed these little tags, and then just uh, you know put a sticker on it with the tomato. So those are just kind of on there to section it off. You'll see on the other on the original tower. Man, can I even put this on here? On the original tower, I actually went one step further and you know made the the words. Uh, you can see that right there, the words right on in it. So I have like romaine and butter and Simpson, all the different types of lettuces and flowers and whatnot on there. Just I, I Im embedded it in there. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to do that unless you're going to print the same things over and over again. And, you know, my goal is I know I'm always going to want these different types of lettuces. So I'm always going to print those. So why not hard to put them in there? And also I used to have all these little tags on that, on, on my original tower. And then it fell over outside when I had it outside and all the tags got mixed up and I didn't know what lettuce was what. So it was very difficult. But then we'll work our way up here. And so these lights are just lights that I got from Amazon. Um, it was like $87 or $85. E no, it was a $99 and a $17 coupon. So it was $83 um, for these, or like 100. But um, $83 for these, the set of the lights. Um, and 
I'm feeling this one here. I think I have some sticky stuff on there. I probably need to take off. But um, okay, so then I have the lights, and then I print this section here, and this section here has these on it. So there's two of these. So this one here is the top one, and then the little one with the pull it off, the little clip that holds the light, just kind of like clips in. And I don't have to worry about it melting or anything like that because these lights are super cool because they're LED lights. So you don't have to worry about too much of that. And then on top there is a cap. I'll open up the cap here for you if I can do it. Let's see. I have these two hands. There we go. So I unscrew the cap, and you can kind of see in there the water is coming up through there. There's a pipe that goes to the middle, pipe that goes to the middle, and comes up through there. And then I have a kind of a diffuser in there just so so when I take off the cap like that, it doesn't squirt all over the whole room. And then it screws back on. And then this piece here is set so it, it can screw. It doesn't have to go super tight, so it can line up the lights. Because depending on how many different segments you have, like I have my segments lined up, I have them lined up so they alternate, you know, here and here and here and here. You can line them all up straight if you wanted to. You can line them up with just a little, um, a little offset. So you get all those different options there. And then the way these lights are kind of set up is they just have the lights plug into the one on the bottom, and then, um, and then they chain to the bottom to the other next bottom and then top to top, and then bottom to bottom, kind of just chaining all the way around, so I only have to plug it in once, so it makes it easy to, um, to do. So it's really only plugged in once. It does come with enough wires, so you could plug them all in individually if you wanted like these three on one side to be lit up um, you know, longer during the day than the other three, or even alternate, you have these three, and then those will switch off or something. I don't know why you'd want to, but if you did, you have that option. So that's kind of cool too. So that's it, and so that's my, this tower, these towers, and how they are, and they're basically two identical towers. The um, the other side, the pump, you see where, the, where it screws in there, that's the water one, where I can fill it with water, and that's where the electricity goes, just so you can kind of see how, how it all is. Um, so that's it, and both of these are basically the same. So I'm gonna show you now on the growing side what I have for all my different pieces and parts and how I do it, and my maintenance. So I have my little growing, I bought these cubes here, so I, I bought a set of six. I think now they come in a set of like eight or ten, or no, I got a set of five. I got a set of five, and I think now they come in like a set of ten for the same price, so it's definitely way better. And it comes with this little section up here, so you can turn it and you get the air aerated or not. And then when it's plugged in, like down here, you can see they light up. Um, so it has some grow lights in there to help it grow, and you'll see in here, oh crud, I don't even know if this is one. Oh, I think these are tomatoes, so these are my tomatoes. Um, and so I have some tomatoes starting to grow in there. And so what I do is I put these little cubes, I buy this cube, this stuff here, it's like this spun um, rock cubes, and you see they're kind of falling apart here. And then I soak them in water, and then they come with little holes in them, and then I plant the seed in it, and then it grows from that. So that's kind of how it um, germinates and starts to grow. And then um, I'll put this back up here. And then I just keep them under my desk here so you can kind of see I have it here. And I have it on a timer. So you see there's a little uh, automated switch here that so it turns on for, I think it's 14 hours a day I have the light on it right now. And then it turns off. So it's set that way. And I have it programmed through my Alexa. So my Alexa can do all that stuff for me. And my Alexa doesn't go off when I say Alexa because I have it set for a different word. Um, but I have it set for Echo. So if I said Echo, see now it's gonna start to listen. Um, okay, so that's kind of how I germinate the seeds. So I germinate them that way. And when, I'm, when I put them in there, the water has to be at the right pH. So my water, I try to keep, I think, I think it's at six is what I keep it at. And the way I do that is I just fill up, I just use tap water. And then I bought this uh, little pH meter right here. And so this lets me test my water. Um, and then I bought a little, uh, what is, I don't know what it's called, whatever, this little, and this one's glass, and I don't know why I have such a fancy one, um, it, but it was cheap. But whatever, it's a glass one here, and then I have, I use the pH up, I, or pH down. I don't really need pH up here because the water here is very, um, uh, very high pH, so I need to use the pH down. And me, and the way I kind of get the water in here, rather than just kind of filling up the buckets each time, is I use this three gallon jug right here. So I have this three gallon jug and I go and fill it up in the kitchen. And then I come in here and it takes about two dropper fulls to get it back down from usually what it is. It's usually about seven to about uh, five and a half to six is where I like it on the pH. 
she's no, she's like seven and a half or something. It's pretty high. So that's kind of how I get the pH going. And then once I'm getting these plants going, usually like when I put them in the sprouts and stuff like that, I spray some of this Clonex on there, on top of them, and I just put some on top of these today because for some reason they're just not growing great. So I, I just put the lights on it. I think it was just too dark in here. Um, that's why I put some new lights up. But I use some of the Clonex uh, to help it grow. And then also, initially I was using just the Aero Garden um, growing liquid stuff that I was just pouring that into my tower. But I've switched and now I use this right here, this MexiGrow um, stuff. And this is 10, 5, 14 on the nutrients. It was, you know, one of the least expensive grow um, powders. And it takes about, I think it was a scoop. A, it comes with a scoop inside of it, a scoop for every gallon. So um, depending on how much I put in each time, I do that. Um, also, I haven't yet, but I should be, I need to start emptying these out every couple of weeks or so, just draining the water and refilling it again, just to get good, clean, nutrient-rich, brand new water in there. So I'll probably be doing that. Uh, tomorrow or the next day. So I'm going to show you some more of the things that I use in there. So I have these clay beads that I got. So in each of the sections here, I'll show you kind of how I work here. Let me see. So these are very, they're very wet, but um, you see, so when I printed it, I printed these sections. So I printed four for each segment. So each tower is seven high. There's 28 of these. So I printed 28 of these. And then I just put a few of these little beads in the bottom, the clay beads. And it just kind of gives it a little bit more space for the roots to grow around these. Um, you can fill it up with more beads. Some people put a lot of beads in it. Some people just grow it like once they get the, um, the roots going, it's like that, just kind of jam it in here with a bunch of beads. So it uh, does it that way. But um, I, don't, I don't do it like that. But then, so then I'm using the, the clay beads. So I have those. Um, there's no dirt in any of this. I did for myself a funnel to, to put the water into the um, towers. But instead, what I just use is I just siphon it from the that big bottle. I just stick it on a chair and siphon it in. So I don't really need that anymore. I do have some pH up. Haven't even needed to open this yet. Um, but if I overdosed on the pH down, I guess I could use this a little bit. So there's that. Um, I have all my piping. So when I bought this, uh, the tubes for the uh, pump, I bought a whole ton of it. So I still have a whole lot left. I can build another tower or two with it. Um, so that's probably what I will be doing. And then I bought a whole bunch of this mesh screen too. It came with a huge roll of it. And that's the screen that's at the bottom of that uh, tower to keep the roots from getting into the uh, pump. Um, so those are, let's see, those are most of the things that I have here. Let's see what else. And then we have my seeds. And so the different seeds that I have, I'll show you. You know, I've started with these. This was just an Amazon uh, buy here. And it's just a bunch of different lettuce seeds. I have, if I can get this out. One-handed, it's not the easiest, but okay. So I have, you know, this black seeded Simpson. So that's the one that I have printed Simpson on it. And there's spinach. I want to print some, I need to grow some more spinach. I should, I'll leave this one out so I remember to grow spinach. And then I have Swiss chard, uh, arugula, and kale, which I think are all kind of gross and disgusting. So I haven't been printing those. I have butter crunch, which is freaking delicious. Um, but for some reason, I'm having a hard time growing it. And then romaine, which just grows like weeds here. It's just, man, I'm growing it like crazy. So those are the ones that I have there. And then in my other tower, well, at the top, the flower one I have is I have the bumblebee buffet of, <laughs> of that. I'm growing some tomatoes, uh, my red bell peppers, my carrots. Um, and then I have some more, oh, my carrots spilled all over the drawer. And then my spinach um, here. And I haven't really used it. It comes with some of these scoops and things like that. I guess this this will help me ream out the whole of the uh, um, of those wool cubes, but I don't need those. So that's kind of that. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have I do have a what's this one here? A TDS like it's all dissolved solid, you know, a tester, so I can test you know how much nutrients and things are in there. I haven't figured out how to use this yet. But I probably will work on that in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, I had a bunch of extra parts, but as I was printing things, oops, as I was printing things, you know, different pieces and parts, I ended up with extras. So I put my extras in here. This is kind of how those little individual segments work. They look like this. Um, this is one of the ones that has like the water hole in it and stuff on the bottom. Um, oh yeah, and then these are the little sections for the little light holders. 
Um, so I, I, you know, I just ended up with a few extra pieces as I was doing it. Let's see, is there anything else I have here for it? Um, it's good to have like something like this. This here is just a humidity sensor. Um, I bought a pack of like 10 of them for some reason, but they were inexpensive. So I just kind of keep this around just to see what the humidity is in the room. Um, I have the problem because I have a 3D printer which lets it dry and I have my towers which like get wet. So I'm just kind of in a, yeah, in between section. So I just have to water those a lot and keep it fairly dry in here. So that's kind of the whole thing. I mean, you can kind of see how it all is. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here for that. Um, the only other thing I really have is I have a couple of fans. I have this fan here. Uh, right now it's pointing kind of across the room at it. And then I have a fan on the desk that I have pointed at it as well. Um, so those are just right there. Because I'd like to just, I think I feel like it, when it's getting a little bit of that little uh, blowing, it makes the stems a little stronger, whether it really does or not, I don't know. Um, and so that's kind of everything I have. I have a camera that I can point at it right now. It's just pointing the ground because I was just putting this tower together. But that's kind of everything. So that's the whole setup here and that's it. And, and the status so far is remains growing like great. Um, this is another little romaine that I did. It's starting to grow. The flowers are growing really nice out here. Um, those haven't been growing very long. The Simpson is finally starting to grow. It's such a thin lettuce. Um, and some of these butter ones are actually starting to grow too. And then more romaine. And then what was this? This is, uh, that's more Simpson down there. I guess I was just trying to see if it would get do better in the light. It was just really struggling. So, so that's kind of update of everything. Hope you like it. There's 15 minutes of me chatting about my 3D printed uh, thing. So, cool. Okay, bye.